welcome welcome back to english classroom in today's class i'm going to introduce you how we can attend ais listening test what are the tips and tricks we can use uh, this first of all uh, be careful about the question we get uh, a question paper uh, printed question paper with you so you want to answer your answers in that answer sheet okay so after the end of the exam you will get 10 minutes to transfer your answer into the answer sheet so uh, you don't mind that one and only answer your answer sheet for the examiner given to you the printed answer sheet okay then secondly we are uh, we always careful about the questions read the question maybe the you can choose the uh, answer a, a b c like this so read the question very carefully sometimes we get uh, you want to write one word or two word or more than three word like this so be careful about the information and you have to follow that one okay let's go to the uh, listening test now we have uh, each uh, is listening test have four parts how many parts it has four parts so each part has 10 questions in different uh, levels different types like this okay so we can let's go to the uh, part 1 uh, in the part 1 firstly we will get 1 to 7 questions 1 to 7 and we want to choose letters a b c which one is the correct one we want to uh, answer it okay i think you got it so let's go to the question uh, first question is uh, mm, at least you will get 3 or uh, some seconds to read the questions in on that time you must read the questions and their choice read very fastly so and underline the key words from the question and uh, read the answers below okay so the first question is the librarian says that training always includes the uh, first one a computer skills basic uh, medical skills see interpersonal skills then Now, question number 2 all libraries uh, library service volunteers have to record their arrival and departure b stay within staff only section wear a uniform question number 3 the woman would be entitled to a contribution towards the cost a transport by mini bus parking at the library public transport number 4 one recent uh, library project involved a labeling historical objects protecting historical photographs c cataloging historical documents number 5 at present the library is looking for people a record books on to cd b tell stories to children c read books to the blind number 6 the woman says the uh, is interested in a project involving taking library books to people in hospital delivering library books to people at home deli- driving the disabled to the library the woman uh, question number 7 the woman uh, agrees to work for 2 hours per week 4 hours per week 6 hours per week so i think you got it how much fast are it more than this fast you can uh, attempt your questions otherwise you will not uh, get the time to read all questions like this so uh, read your questions and answers very fastly okay so you have to practice this one many times then only you will get uh, the uh, experience okay so let us start now the first question is the librarian says that uh, training always includes maybe computer skills maybe basic medical skills interpersonal skills so go to the video part 2 part 3 and part 4 now look at part 1 part 1 you will hear a conversation between a senior librarian and a woman interested in working at the library 
First, you have some time to look at questions one to seven. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to seven. Um, I'm interested in doing some work for the library. Are you the person to speak to? Yes. Right. Well, um, what sort of work are you interested in? Well, I've just come to let... The speaker asks you, uh, her... What sort of works are you interested? Here in Australia, I don't want a full-time job until my children have settled down, but I really need to get out of the house a bit. And I heard you need voluntary workers for various projects. Right. But I don't know if I have the right skills. Well, we do provide training. I don't know. I have that much skills. Okay. Uh, okay. So. Oh. We always include an orientation to the library, together with emergency procedures. That we will give you an orientation, a procedure program. Uh, okay, what including the fire regulations, emergency exits, first aid, fire regulations, emergency exit, and first aid. I repeat the question again. It's the first aid so you can cope with accidents or sudden illness. Things like that which are necessary for anyone who's working with the public. Then we give specialist training for particular projects, like using our database system. I do have quite good computer skills, in fact. Oh, great. Is there any sort of uh, dress requirement? Well, all staff have... Okay. All librarian service volunteers have to... Uh, blah, 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 blah. So what is the answer? Be careful about the clue. It's a compulsory thing to wear a name badge uh, so they can be identified if they go outside the staff only areas but apart from that there aren't many regulations we ask you to sign in and sign out for insurance purposes for what sign in and signing out here they mention arrived and departure so we want to know the some synonyms from the questions they are using different words but same meanings. So, the answer is A. But that's all. How about transport? Do you live locally? Well, not too far away. Then, how about the tra transport? The woman would be entitled to a contribution towards the cost. They will give some uh, benefits uh, for the workers. For whom? For whom? They will provide it. So... Way. I'm at Porpoise Beach. My husband needs a car during the day, but it's only about 20 minutes on the bus. In fact, we can reimburse part of your travel expenses in that case. Oh, would that be the same if I came by car? No, uh, because parking is such a problem here. One thing we are looking for, though, is someone... Parking is a problem, so on transport is not good. There is no space to parking. Who can drive a minibus? No problem. So, do the projects involve going outside the library? Some, yes, but not all. Uh, we've just finished one which involved working with photographs taken of the area 50 or 100 years ago. It away. I'm at Porpoise Beach. My husband needs a car during the day, but it's only about 20 minutes on the bus. 
In fact, we can reimburse part of your travel expenses in that case. Oh, would that... So, if she is the public transport, she will get the contribution. Okay, so then next question. One recent uh, library project involved a labeling historical objects, project historical uh, photographs, cataloging, historical document what is the clue here one recent library project a newly project maybe they are using some synonyms instead of recent or like this so uh, involve what is the uh, works what uh, type of work they are doing so let's go to the video be the same if i came by car no uh, because parking is such a problem here one thing we are looking for, though, is someone who can drive a minibus. No problem. So, do the projects involve going outside the library? Some, yes, but not all. We've just finished one which involved working with photographs taken of the area 50 or 100 years ago. It basically involved what we call encapsulation. Putting the... One thing we are looking for, though, is someone who can drive a minibus. No problem. So, do the projects involve going outside the library? Some, yes, but not all. Uh, we've just finished one, which involved... We just finished one. Yeah, it means it's recently just finished one. For what is the uh, project? Working with photographs, photographs taken of the area. Photographs. We get the clue. What is it? B protecting historical photographs so uh, the answer is b then the question number four at present the library is looking for pupil to dash 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 okay so 50 or 100 years ago it basically involved what we call encapsulation Putting them in some sort of covers to keep them safe? Exactly. It's time-consuming work and we were very grateful to have help with it. Then sometime next year, we're hoping to begin working on an initiative involving the sorting and labelling of objects relating to... Mm. Then sorting and labelling the historical objects. Uh, now question number four. They are expanding the next year, not now. So that A is not the answer. And see also they are explaining some blah, 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 blah. So, uh, like that. Then they are going to question number five. Local history. We'll be needing help with the cataloging. Well, I'd definitely be interested. How about at present? Well, we have a small team who work to support those who are unable to read. Okay. At present, the library is looking for a people. Whom? Working with the blind? Yes, or other groups who have reading difficulties. We provide volunteers with equipment so that they can take books home with them and read them aloud onto CDs. Okay, books uh, take them and uh, re read them aloud and record in, onto the CD. Uh, such pe uh, Like that, people, they need it. We're gradually building up a collection that can be lent to those who need them. Mm, I can see. So the answer is A. It would be useful, but I'd really like to do some sort of work where I can get the chance to meet people. How about reading stories? Okay, question number six. What the woman says she is interested in a project involving some. Um, they are still in question number five. Then they are entering question number six uh, within seconds. So uh, they are explaining. Uh, the woman is interested in some works or project. What is it? Yeah. Let's go. It's to children. Mm, that's done by our regular staff. But we do have another project. It's a very long established scheme which involves helping those who are unable to have direct access to the library. Hmm. Someone is unable to uh, ex direct access in the library. Maybe... They have some problems, uh, blunts, uh, handicapped like this. So, uh, oh, I noticed someone with a trolley of books when I was at the hospital last. Uh, she was the hospital. Someone is uh, came with a trolley, uh, trolley uh, the library. 
you the someone is uh, buying and selling the books taking the books like this so like that sort of thing that would have been one of ours yes it's one of our most popular services yeah it's one of our most popular services so what is the answer of this lady lots of people who wouldn't dream of going to the library normally or when they're at home borrow a book when the trolley comes round the ward i can imagine yes i'd definitely be interested in that i definitely be interested in that so what is the answer question number 6 yes which one taking library books to people in hospital no delivery library books people at home not see driving the disabled to the library okay so the answer is a right so how do i enroll well we do ask all volunteers to commit themselves to a regular period each week i could probably do 5 or 6 hours oh, be careful not to take on too much the next question the woman agrees to work for how many hours 2 hours 4 hours 6 hours uh, okay then the speaker she is the woman is saying she is working 6 and 7 hours like this but the speaker is uh, give her uh, a choice what is it but we do need someone for a couple of afternoons from 2 to 4 so 4 hours altogether couple of hours afternoon and morning 2 hours also so but 4 hours per week so the answer is b that sounds fine okay in this question number 8 to 10 uh, choose three letters a to g which three of the following must be provided by all volunteers what is the question which three of the following must be provided by all volunteers so uh, how many are there seven so choices are the you want to choose only 3 but you can write in any order for example the answer is c a b c you can write b c a c b a like this any order that is doesn't matter but the answer be careful about the answer and the choice so let's go to the video listen and answer questions 8 to 10 right so here's the application form it asks the usual questions name and address and telephone number you also need to fill in details of who we should get in touch with in case of any accident or problem like okay you must fill the application form and right contact details and information like this like this blah 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 okay so in this section be careful they are not uh, explaining about the one by one a after b after c like this no in between any for example they are explaining about c first then g then b then c like this okay so make sure you want to know all choice about other about all options okay so first they are explaining letter d i show you again that uh, we do need to have that filled in and there's a space for date of birth but that's so uh, you all can answer questions 8 to 10 right so here's the application form it asks the usual questions name and address and telephone number you also need to fill in details of who we should get in touch with in case of any accident or problem like that uh, we do need to have that filled in and there's a space for date of birth but that's only if you're okay first contact details contact is there 
contact details instead of contact details in the uh, no, letter D with the contact information. Okay, so for then uh, one is one correct answer is D. Then they are uh, speaking about date of birth. Over seventy five, so uh, we won't worry about that. No. Oh. It asks the usual questions, name and address and telephone number. You also need to fill it. Then they are speaking about the date of birth. Then uh, the speaker is saying, oh, no, you, you are in uh, 75 or 18 like this. So no need of it. Okay. So be careful. In details of who we should get in touch with in case of any accident or problem like that. Uh, we do need to have that filled in. And there's a space for date of birth, but that's only if you're over 75, so uh, we won't worry about that. No. Oh, it asks for qualification. So, he is not the answer. So, uh, it is wrong. Then, uh, they are asking qualification. Then, where is the qualification column? L letter C. Certificate to indicate qualification. They need that is the answer or not, we can examine. Patients, do I need to provide certificates? They are not necessary. We'll they are not necessary, so that is not the answer. Need the names of two referees, not relatives or family. So, referees, letter G. Family members, obviously. Uh, what else? Uh, signature of parent or... Okay, referee, G. What is it? You need to write the name of two referees. So it is compulsory then then second one is G. So now we have D and G. Then usual questions, name and address and telephone number. You also need to fill in details of who we should get in touch with in case of any accident or problem like that. Uh, we do need to have that filled in. And there's a space for date of birth, but that's only if you're over 75, so uh, we won't worry about that. No. Oh, it asks for qualifications. Do I need to provide certificates? They're not necessary. We'll need the names of two referees, not relatives or family members, obviously. Uh, what else? Uh, signature. Okay, referees, they need to write two referees, okay? Then signature of parent or guardian the speaker is explaining uh, now you are 76 like this no need of it like the same of parent or guardian that won't be necessary as i assume you're over 18 yes <laughs> won't uh, be necessary you are 18 so next one what's this it says civil conviction check that's a document we have to provide by law for those working on projects involving children. So we won't need it in your case. But you okay, we won't need it in your case. So that is not correct answer. You will need to sign this separate document. That's a, a copy of commitment. It's basically an agreement to work according to the library guidelines. So, if you'd like to fill this all in, uh, you can do it here or take it home, whichever you prefer. I'll take it home if that's it. Yes, sign a copy of commitment that you can do uh, here or you can take it home like this. But that is compulsory. So, the choices are B, D, G. Okay. Right. Well, thank you for your time. Okay, guys, now uh, we continue the one uh, question number 1 to 10. Then uh, I show you how to get the answer. Then choose your clue and uh, try to write the correct answer from the uh, uh, speakers. Maybe they are using some same words or uh, maximum they are using synonyms. So, we are bothered about it and careful about it and uh, thank you for watching me and uh, just follow my channel and uh, I will give you the next steps and uh, uh, till then mm, wish you all the success in your IELTS exam and uh, thank you for watching again.
बाय सी यू द नेक्स्ट टाइम